Do you guys remember that old PlayStation game, Ratchet and Clank? Well today I'm going to be making it from scratch and I'm only giving myself 48 hours to do so. The first step of recreating this game is making the main character. Now I only have 48 hours so making a model from scratch would be a big waste of time. So instead I downloaded this model from this website which directly grabs models from games, meaning that this is the original model that PlayStation used. The only issue is that this model is not rigged, so we can't actually animate it. So I hopped into Blender and filled this man with some fresh new bones. Ew, that sounded quite disgusting actually. I then grabbed a few animations from Mixamo and hooked them up inside of Unity. I made this dude move with WASD, or the arrow keys if you're clinically insane, and the groundwork for our player was done. It was now time to give this fox, <clears throat> Lombax, some attacks. So in the actual game you have this weapon tree that lets you upgrade and unlock new things. But I don't have time for this, so instead I compromised by making a melee and a ranged weapon. I animated a melee weapon into his attacking animations and added a collider to it. This lets us check if the weapon hit anything and apply force to this object that it hit. But this isn't very realistic so I decreased the amount of force that gets added and made it so that the hit direction gets determined on where the player hit the object. And finally, I created some particles to hide my sloppy physics. As you can see, I made these cool bolts, because in the actual game you can break crates and they will drop these bolts that you can then use to upgrade your weapons. Now, since there are no weapon upgrades, I made these crates give you extra health. Quick intermission. This video is sponsored by Unity. Particularly, I want to cover the NavMesh and GitHub. The NavMesh is a component inside of Unity that allows you to create pathfinding inside of your Unity games. I've personally used it throughout a lot of my projects and it's super beginner friendly. All you have to do is add an agent to your object, bake the NavMesh and it basically works. The components and aspects of it are completely customizable and you can change cool features of the NavMesh inside of your scripts to adjust it to your liking. Plus, there is a bunch of docs and forums helping you out along the way. Not to mention, the NavMesh system inside of Unity has extra components that you can download from this GitHub page, which allow you to make the NavMesh system more advanced and get access to extra features all for free, such as real-time NavMesh baking. Speaking of GitHub, it's super important that throughout any devving session, you have some form of source control integrated within your Unity project. GitHub works really well with Unity and the integration is super smooth. It's something that I've used in this video as well as all of my previous ones on this channel. So if you want to find out more about the NavMesh and make really awesome AI, and find out more about GitHub with Unity, then check out the links below and thank you Unity, now let's continue. So last night I got kind of distracted and ended up not working on the game any longer. But if I remember it was time to make the ranged weapon. For this I got some new animations and made it look like he's holding weapon and animated a pistol into his arms. All of these animations are actually made using blend trees that allow me to easily blend between the idle and running animation for the player. We can also now click this checkbox to make him equip and unequip his weapon. To make the gun logic, I simply use raycasts, which is a fancy way of saying that I'm going to create a line from the pistol tip to the center of the screen. In our case, it's not actually the center of the screen, it's slightly higher up because this is a third person game, but you know what I mean. I then made this bullet prefab that essentially will travel down this imaginary line using physics, and if it hits something, or if it travels far enough, it will basically just explode and destroy itself. To make it look nicer, I added this model to it, which was also from the same website that I grabbed the character from, and added some particles to it to make it look nicer. At this point, the player had everything finished, apart from the health, which I sorted out in about 20 minutes, and also created some UI inside of Photoshop that lets us display all of the health info. Okay, so I might have lied saying I'm going to recreate the entire game, since that's not really possible in 48 hours but instead I'm going to make a boss that the player has to fight. So I follow the same processes for the player by downloading a model and giving it some animations, once again via the help of Mixamo, but in this case I'm going to have the boss be in a spaceship, so the only animation I need is this one. And for both the spaceship and the enemy, I made this transparency material that I can apply to its head and to the spaceship cabin, that makes it look a little bit nicer and more like the actual game. Since I only have 4 hours left, I needed to make the boss pretty simple, so the idea is the boss will circle around the player, and over time get closer and closer. While this is happening, he will be shooting bullets at the player, and to make it more difficult, once the bullets are in a certain range, I'm going to turn them into homing missiles. 
So for me editing that video, I realized how boring the next two minutes are. It's basically just me explaining how the boss works. So how about we just watch the end boss fight without me explaining how it was made? Yeah. Okay guys, so that is basically the game. I didn't actually have time to program like an end cutscene or anything like that, but I'm still pretty proud of what I was able to make in that 48 hours. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, and also check out the Unity links down below. I will see you guys next time. Bye!